Hashtag Ask Goji Man. I've just watched a Dr. Berg video, the keto doctor who eats eggs and bacon for breakfast, and he has just released his CT results and has a zero coronary artery calcification score. How can this be if he eats so much cholesterol every day? Great question. Let's get to it. Roll the titles. Welcome back, it's good to see you all again. If you haven't met before then, hi, I'm Goji Man. I'm currently studying for a master's in nutrition and qualifying as a nutritionist. And next year I'll be studying for a PhD in nutritional science. I do plant-based nutrition videos every other day in which I answer your health questions under the hashtag Ask Goji Man. So if you have a question for me, then hashtag Ask Goji Man in the comments below and I'll choose one of these to answer in my next video. So without further ado, to the question. Hey guys, so I'm going to get a CAC test right now stands for coronary artery calcification scoring test. This is one of the, the absolute best tests to predict not just cardiovascular health, but mortality rates from all deaths. <laughs> it's incredible. So I wanted to get a test uh, and we're just gonna see what shows up, um, but it measures the calcification in the coronary artery, which is the main blood flow to the heart. So let's let's see what happens. So right off the bat, Dr. Berg is being very disingenuous. Now the coronary artery calcification test does provide some important information in patients with suspected coronary artery disease. However, and this is a big however, this is being superseded by the recent introduction of the coronary multi detector computer tomography and geography, or CTA as it's known. Now the reason for this is that the CTA shows a greater granularity of what's occurring in the lumen and vessel walls. And this is really, really important because it massively improves the detection of both calcified and non-calcified plaques. And let me just say that again, because it's a really, really important distinction. The CTA massively improves the detection of both calcified and non-calcified plaques. Now, the reason that CTA was developed was that a high proportion of those with zero calcium scores go on to have heart attacks. Now, I will get into the science behind this very shortly, but let's quickly see what Dr. Berg has to say about his test results. Hey guys, I'm going to an event in DC and I wanted to quickly just uh look at my test results. Yesterday I had a CAC test, a calcium, actually it's a coronary artery calcium test. And um, I know I'm driving, but I'm looking at the road, okay? So I'm not looking at you guys, so I'm just, that's my justification. Uh, this coronary artery calcium test is the best um, test to measure mortality rates, not just from heart attacks, from all mortality. And so it's one of the, it's way better than cholesterol because if you have calcium in your arteries, uh, it's a serious, serious situation. And today on my show, this guy called in from New York and his calcium scoring test was um, over 1,500. I mean, if it's over 1,000, it's very, very dangerous, okay? Um, so you don't want even to be over 400. You want to be have it like 200 less and a lot less. So um, we're going to look at it's downloading right now and I'm gonna see what it says here. Okay, I'm going to wait till I stop. So yeah, so you go into this, uh, it's a CAT scan. You lay down, they put these EKG little sticker, uh, little sticky things on you and you, it doesn't take long. It's like five minutes and then they, um, they scan you. It's not as much radiation as um, most things, but it, there's some, but it's one of the best scores. So let's just see what it says here. Oh, shoot. No, I'm just kidding. No, I got a, I got a score of zero. Zero. That's really good, guys. That's actually, that's the ideal scene. Zero. I love it. So there's absolutely zero calcium in my arteries of the heart, okay? Because they didn't just measure the corner, they measured uh, all the different areas. So this is very exciting. Well, good. Whew. Don't have to worry about that. Um, so if your score is zero, um, that means that um, you have some, you don't have any damage in the arteries. Well, of course, I've been doing this for a long time, so if it even showed up anything, I would be surprised. So, 
good. Got the test, got the test results, and um, I'm happy about that and nothing to worry about. So, right back to the reality of his test results. Now, before I get accused of being a bitter vegan because of his test results, I would be the first to congratulate him if he was using the gold standard of testing and he had a zero test result. My mother died at 54 of a heart attack and I certainly wouldn't wish that on anyone, particularly someone who chooses to eat a diet that I don't agree with. So before I jump into the science of why his results mean very little, I want to reiterate that this is not a bitter vegan attack. My health is my greatest asset, so if Dr. Berg had a zero test result using the CTA test method, then I would be paying particular attention to his diet and maybe looking at it in a different light. But herein lies the problem. So in 2008 in this study, Henneman et al showed that 39% of patients with a zero calcium artery score had non-calcified plaques in their arteries. So these people had taken the same test as Dr. Berg and given the all clear. They then went on to develop heart disease symptoms and heart attacks, etc. And many of these were then given the CTA scan and 39% had non-calcified plaques in their arteries. So the coronary artery calcium score was not effective at detecting those non-calcified plaques. And let me explain the importance of this. But first, let's just note on his test results, it says age sex match score percentile. 50% of patients in this age group also score zero. Hmm. Given that every one in two people die of heart disease, that percentage doesn't fill me with particular confidence. But let's move on. So as we all know, coronary artery disease is a global leading killer. CAD is resulting from atherosclerosis, which is caused by a buildup of cholesterol, fatty compounds, calcium, and also fibrin, which is a blood clotting agent or material. Now you also need to know that cholesterol, fats, calcium and fibrin cause two types of plaques in the arteries, so soft and hard. Now being vegans we have all heard Dr Esselstein talk about inflammation in the arteries and damage to the endothelial cells and then the cholesterol etc comes along and patches all of this up and then if it breaks off it can cause a block to the artery and cause a heart attack. And while this is all very true and valid, we know from the science today that a high proportion of heart attacks occur in patients with soft plaques in their arteries that are not detectable using the same tests as Dr. Berg. This is because the calcium artery test is looking for calcium, but remember in the soft plaques, these are non-calcified lesions. Now, while the science is still growing in this area, we know that a very large proportion of those that have heart attacks have these soft plaques that are responsible for their myocardial infarctions. So unlike the calcified plaque that breaks off and blocks the artery causing a heart attack, the soft or vulnerable plaque as it's known causes inflammation in the artery and then bursts through the artery wall, causes a blood clot and then causes a subsequent heart attack that way. Now both types of heart attacks are caused by inflammation, too much fat and cholesterol and also fibrin. But the one differentiator between both is calcification. So in one type of heart attack, calcification is present and in the other, it's not. So if you only take a coronary calcium artery score test, then it will miss any soft plaques present. So Dr. Berg, in the interest of science, I challenge you to put it to the test. I say that the meat, dairy and eggs you're eating are having harmful effects on your arteries and while we know that you are free of calcified plaques, I would be confident to say that because of your diet, you will have the formation of the soft plaques that have yet to calcify. And regardless of whether it's hard or soft plaque, both carry high risks of having a heart attack. Why only take a calcium artery score test and gloss this up to your viewers as the best and only test for detecting heart disease when the science clearly shows this is not the case. So the challenge for Dr. Berg is to take a CTA test as a live stream here on YouTube and prove conclusively that he does or does not have damage to his arteries. As a doctor with a very large social media following and such conviction in his dietary approach, you have a responsibility to your audience and also an oath to do no harm. I say your recommendations are causing harm to many of your followers. Prove me wrong. Over to you, doc.